Hello, YouTubers. Thank you for tuning in once again to Neoville. Um, today, we'll be coming to you with a different type of video. Normally, my videos, I'll do like an entree or I'll do a side dish or I'll do some type of dessert. But today, I decided to do a whole meal. And it's kind of like a challenge, uh, a meal within an hour. Because sometimes the hustle and bustle of life, being a parent, working, you just don't have time to cut, chop, peel, pick, and do all of that stuff. But you still want a good meal. So today I'll be preparing um, country fried cube steaks, cream potatoes, jiffy cornbread, and cabbage will do fried cabbage the key to doing all of this you guys is sometimes you have to buy pre box stuff like i said you don't have time to do all of that chopping and stuff you're getting pre box stuff and you're just kind of making it your own and for my ingredients of course i have cube steak i have my eggs my onions my flowers i have my seasonings my roasted garlic my creole seasoning I al i'm also still using um seasonings from big taste catering I have mushroom chives, beef broth. I have my Jiffy cornbread. I have my instant mashed potatoes. I have my milk and my cabbage and my butter. So just kind of stay tuned and watch and, and see if we can get this done within an hour. All right, you guys. So we are back and I have my Dutch oven out. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to that. Because the first thing I'm going to put on is my cabbage. Okay, I'm just going to start adding it. I'm just going to put a top. That's not all of it. That's probably about one hand of cabbage right there. And that's why I like this Dutch oven because it holds heat really well and it'll cook that cabbage down fast. I'm just going to put the top over this. Let it start cooking down. And we'll be back. Um... To check on that and add more cabbage okay guys so we're back while our cabbage is cooking down we're going to go ahead and get started on our cornbread so we can put that in the oven real quick what you want to do is follow the instructions on the box the box calls for for each box is one egg i use three boxes so i i did three eggs and it calls for a third cup of milk for each box so i have a cup of milk i'm also adding in here is sweet style cream corn i mean it's it's cornbread right so we're adding that in when you add those ingredients now the how long you cook it may change so you probably have to cook it a little longer and if you notice when i added the corn it made it liquidy and so we might not even need that whole cup of milk However, we do want to add it, at least half of it anyway, and then check out the consistency. And see, because we added the cream corn, you did not need all of the extra milk. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this in the pan, get it in the oven, and we'll say we're going to start cooking it. We'll look at it in about 20 minutes um, to see where we're at and... If we need to cook it longer, we just shut the door and keep it in there longer. That's when you start eyeballing and, you know, it gets that golden brown. So, we'll be right back. All right, you guys. So, we just stuck our cornbread in the oven. We have our cabbage right here. Um, it has cooked. And we have um, added the other cabbage. Now, what we want to do is add our seasonings. And the thing about my fried cabbage, um, and that's, that's roasted garlic and herb, really good on cabbage. This is a go-to for anything, meats, uh, vegetables. This is a really good, um, ingredient to have in your cabinet. Um, I'm also going to be adding from big taste catering their green thing seasoning um this is my first time using this but i normally add another seasoning to my cabbage but i wanted to try something different um so i'm going to add that in there and if you notice i did not add any salt or pepper 
because both of these ingredients have salt and pepper in them. This is actually almost to the points that I like. It's not too soft and it's not too hard. We're going to put the top on here. We have our cornbread in the oven. We have our cabbage on the stove. Next, we're gonna go ahead and fry our cube steak. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so before we fry our cube steaks, I want to show you the seasonings that I'll be using for the steaks and the flour. Once again, I'm using the allspice um, seasonings from Big Taste Catering out of Indianapolis, Indiana. If you would like to order any of these seasonings, you can pre-order right now at www.bigtastecatering.com. So I'm going to be using that first. I'm also going to put some of that in my flour because I'm going to also be using this flour to do a quick gravy. Um, and I'm going to use some Creole seasoning just a little bit to add a little extra kick. And we're adding, of course, pepper. All right, you guys, so we are back. And I did add, I add enough vegetable oil just to cover the bottom of my skillet. And I added just a tad more because the extra grease I'm going to use to make the gravy. So, and I got it on a medium high heat and I've dredged all of my steaks into flour. We're just gonna add them. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get these fried up and cooked. All right, you guys, so while our steaks are frying, our cornbread got done. I left it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, more along 25 minutes. Um, I had to cook it a little bit longer uh, than the box said because I did add cream of corn in here. So we have that finished and it's all golden brown. Our cabbage is done. Next, we'll be working on the gravy for the steak and then the potatoes. We're doing the potatoes last because it's the easiest thing to do. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so our steaks are ready to be taken up. They cooked about four minutes on each side. Now, guys, I did not pour out all the grease, but I did pour out some of the grease. And what I want to do now is add my onions. I'm also going to add mushrooms. I have some portobello mushrooms, and this is optional, guys. These vegetables are optional. I'm going to add half of those. All right, you guys, so now that our vegetables are good and soft how we like it, we're going to start adding in our flour to make our gravy. So now you just want to let that flour cook with these veggies to get out that flour taste. You can do water, but I'm using beef broth. It kind of, it takes the flavor up a notch. And now what you want to do is start adding your broth. Just want to make sure we have enough gravy even for the potatoes also. And guys, I know you're probably saying it looks thin, but I promise you it's going to thicken up the more it cooks. 
Now what we want to do, we want to add our meat right back in here. And we're gonna cover it. And let it simmer. And while this is simmering, we're going to be working on our potatoes. So what I did while you were away, I went ahead and put the water in um, according to the box on the potatoes I'm using. Um, now I'm going to add the milk. I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn the stove on low. However, I'm changing the ingredients, um, the amount of ingredients that the box says because I'm doing something different. Um, now you can follow the directions on the box but because I'm doing something different, um, I'm adding sour cream, so I'm not putting as much milk as it calls for. I'm taking away um, about a cup of milk in order to actually add sour cream. Um, I had put the water on, I put the salt in, and I also, as you see, put the butter in. So now I'm putting the milk in. I'm gonna let that warm up real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sour cream and I'm using about a cup of sour cream to replace a cup of milk. And this just gives it, you know, just another flavor uh, profile. I'm going to let this heat up. All right, guys, we, all right, guys, we are back and we, I cut up some chives that I want to add to this to give it an extra boost of flavor. And now that we have warmed this back up, we're gonna add our potatoes. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And now you understand why I made so much gravy because people around here like vegetables more than meat, which is a good thing, so. Now you just want to get everything mixed in. And guys, we're gonna get this all mixed up and fixed up. It's gonna keep thickening up and as it thickens, I'll know, I'll taste it and see if I wanna add um, more sour cream and more butter. But if you see how it's coming together. All right guys, everything is done and we'll be right back. All right guys, so there you have it, our one hour meal prep challenge. We have the steak with the mushroom and gravy. We have the cream potatoes with the sour cream and chives. We have the Jiffy cornbread and we added um, cream of corn. We have our fried um, cabbage and we added um, the green seasonings from Big Taste Catering. Um, to get your seasonings, get, go to BigTasteCatering.com. You can pre-order. They're doing pre-orders right now. I'll put the link in the description box so you can go online and look it up. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember to share, subscribe, like these videos, hit the notification. We appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and the new subscribers who are coming on. Thank you so much. You have a blessed, blessed weekend and you all be safe out there.